Okay, great morning. Let's see what the cards have to say today. It is Wednesday. First card out is Angelic. Next we have attainment, attainment. Next card out is Productivity. Haven't seen that card before. Productivity. Next card out is Ancestors, Generations. Next card is New Chapter. New Chapter. And next card, I'm sensing a theme here, Robin, New Life. So yesterday we had that it was um, start of a new cycle. Today we have new chapter, new life, okay? This is time to really wash the slate clean of things that have gone before you know, just really big house cleaning time, okay? Really a time for the big house cleaning. New life, new chapter. In every moment, it's something new. Every moment, it's a change, a beginning and an end in every moment. So as you go forward, remember your ancestors, learn what you can from history, from those that have gone before, especially if you see any of those around that are like a hundred years old, that have been around for a lot of years, they've seen a lot of changes, get some wisdom from them. They've lived long enough on the planet to really see a lot and you can gain knowledge from them. Um, maybe look up some of these ones that are 100 years old. And there are some interviews with a few of them on the internet. I'm sure if you look, you could find it. Um, 
check out what the knowledge is that they're bringing, what they talk about, what's important. Oh, yeah? This morning? You're going to butt in this morning? Yes? Okay. Okay. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Max. Okay. Next, we have <clears throat> be productive. Productive. Come here, <laughs> I can get off my lap for just a little while. <coughs> so when you're going to be productive, be productive in something angelic, okay? The positives, let's stick towards the positives and stay productive in higher things, higher things. Don't forget you always have uh, angelic beings around you. Uh, those also that have gone before that are always looking in on you, wanting to be supportive of your journey. So don't forget that. Last but not least, if you stick with it, <laughs> Mr. Max, you're just not going to give up, are you, this morning? He says, nope, I want the lap. That's it. I want the lap. You got to give up the lap this morning. Last but not least is attainment. Now, to gain attainment, hopefully you don't gain the attainment where you got the peacock thing going behind here. <laughs> then that's really not attainment. That's just ego gratification, okay? Attainment is when you go beyond all of these ego, ego gratification type things. And you find and discover what's at the heart of of the universe, what it is that allows all of this to take place. When that happens, one becomes very ordinary because you enter the big zero, okay? <laughs> That's why they always say in Advaita, not two, it's not one. One can be subdivided. This can never be subdivided, really. So it's entering the big zero, ordinary. <laughs> Okay, so when you see gurus on their throne being very pompous, you know, with light shows and dress up and they're catering to the popular belief system on what a holy person should look like, they haven't attained, okay? They're still seeking the ego gratification of attainment, okay, with the popular stylized ideology that people are going to want to hear okay so when you see that uh, pass it by unless you're just looking for a bigger show for a time okay then then go ahead and follow into that if you want but uh, if you're looking for genuine attainment to go the whole way, to break through the illusions and delusions, then you find yourself a guru that doesn't need to sit on a throne, doesn't need to have a big ashram with a lot of people around them all the time, you know, serving them and doing this and that, okay, kissing their feet and all of that nonsense. That's one that's into the ego gratification. Okay, they have yet far to go. I don't care how nice their words sound. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to leave this here this morning. I hope everyone continues to go forward in their paths to realization, get rid of the baggage, and go forward to live life and just enjoy the experience of it, you know. I have people that come and ask, well, if you're realized, why are you doing tarot? Why are you doing this? You don't need tarot if you're realized. Blah, 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 you know? It's fun. It's called Leela. It's called the play of God. That's what remains is the play to enjoy life for what it is. It's entertainment. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Because, you know, movies aren't real. Does that stop you from going to see them? Hello. <laughs> it's basically on that same order. Okay. It's another dream state. 
This is another dream state. Enjoy it for what it is. But there's no illusions about it that it has any more substance than, okay, another thing to do, another action, another experience, okay? This is all about um, experience on this planet, okay? This real uh, guttural type experience, very... Um, How do I want to say it? Very dense experience. This planet is full of very dense experience. Okay. It's uh, more about, like I said, the, this feeling of people have to overcome this feeling of separation, divisionary, um, learning that there's something much grander than ego. Okay. Um, so this is kind of like the uh, kindergarten school of the planet, <laughs> of the solar system. This is a, here's the kind of the kindergarten <laughs> area <laughs> where you're going around and you know babies are sticking everything in their mouth. Everything, it doesn't matter what, what it is, they'll grab it and put it in their mouth and, you know, tactile, wanting to experience all of those things, okay? That's what this planet's about, the tactile experience, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you online. If there's something you want to see read on, please leave it in the comments section, and we'll see how it goes, okay? Thanks for tuning in.